to find one more lock nut. Oh, this boat is awesome. Haven't used it in a while. It'll be good to get it going again. Uh, yeah, definitely have to fill in floorboards too. Oh, these ones have survived pretty well. All the other floorboards were starting to rot, so I threw them. But anyway, look how good that looks. Man, that is excellent. Paddle wheel hits up here a little bit. So if I just slide it back before I screw it in place, totally fine. <laughs> cool. Is that anything about pockets? Uh, well, get it off the other one then. Just get ready to pass that one in a minute. Leaves in the front. All right, bolt and washer. <laughs> no, bolt and washer. What? No, no, no. That's a nut in the washer. What, what happened? You just did this right like four times. Bolt and wash, right? Yes. Now what's next? Washer. And nut. Yeah. Yeah, nut. Yeah, okay. Washer and nut. Next is the tools. I know. And do not drop these. Okay, don't drop those. Be very careful. Don't hold them over the water. Pass them to me. Right there. Okay, I got them. You guys gotta be careful. Pass them to the water. What do you think? Four bolts is good enough? Yeah. I think that'll be fine. And these are marine grade bolts, so they shouldn't rust, even though they're going to get splashed. And one more. You want to push the little button on top of the camera? Yeah. Right. There's nowhere to sit yet. Good to me. Better when we have a chair, like. Oh, we are moving, aren't we? We're tied up pretty tight, but we're moving a little bit. Get back away. As far as we can get. Let's go forward a bit. Oh, that's great. Well, I can't currently steer without the motors. You know, just pedaling because the motors were what steered before. Um, let's see. If I turn this, yeah, that thing at the back there moves. This is always the coolest steering. I remember when I made this, so many people were like, oh, those strings are going to break like the minute you start using it. But they've been on there for years. So, yeah, that's... Ignore the bike, bicycle tire, but that piece that moved back and forth that would connect to this pipe and, and like turn the motors. So maybe I can put a rudder back here, connect it into that, and then that'll work. Well, maybe I'll put the rudder on that side since that motor is obviously not being used. And then I can have one motor and a rudder and some pedals. I'm not sure what I'm actually going to end up doing for motors on this boat. Uh, well, I'll, I'll worry about it later. I'll just get the... I, w I definitely want to be able to go unpowered, with just with pedal power and a rudder. So I'll, I'll do that first. I then I'll worry about the motors. Anything. But I also want to change like the whole roof in here and like... What you want to change it to? 
I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe I don't. I mean, it's kind of amazing in here, isn't it? Yeah, I say you should not. You shouldn't take a pole to the roof because I like it. You want me to leave? Leave the whole roof? Yeah. Solar panels are probably still in good shape. They're mostly in the shade anyway. I'm going to move some surfboards out of the way. Uh, man, this is an awesome boat. Maybe I shouldn't mess with it too much. Ah, it is really nice having this this whole thing up here because like you can attach things up here and like crane them in and out of the water if you take out some floorboards you can, you know if there's yeah, anything that's why I should leave it, cause and then back here I mean it's like a little house I made it have standing room for me I don't know the thing is if I'm driving this in high wind conditions I'm gonna want a lower roof more streamlined some kind of thing it's not it's not terrible because it's all open the wind can get through here um, and i have driven this in some really terrible windy conditions um and it made it through and everything so it's good it, it is <laughs> just whenever i'm in terrible windy conditions i'm always just thinking oh i want the boat to be shorter and more aerodynamic and but i mean I don't know. Uh, before I worry about the roof and all that stuff, I just need to get some kind of steering, and then I can drive the boat out into the ocean and, and then you go down and scrape in. off all these barnacles that have then. built up. Yeah, I gotta get the barnacle. You wanna go scrape some barnacles? Um, I, maybe, because I can't go in the water now. <laughs> yeah, you are getting pretty good at swimming under, but... These things are sharp. You can cut your knuckles on them really easily. Well, let's just give this whole steering wheel an, an inspection and make sure everything's working right. Yeah, the rollers are good in there. This string, which turns the main steering column, still in good shape. And I made the steering column go all the way to the front so you can stand on the front of the boat and still steer. Because sometimes, you know, I want to be up there and, and still steer. And then the steering column goes all the way back. To a string there that's wrapped around, then down through some pulleys and to that thing at the back there. Hmm. Maybe we should put a, a little bit of grease in here. Yeah, we should. A little squeaky, but every, everything seems to be working. I also have to clean up is all that these a gas leaves mask? and crap. That. This is a gas mask, yes. For like doing what is it? It's uh, for doing fiberglass stuff. Are you asking me if I can put a steering wheel at the front of the boat? Well, it doesn't need a steering wheel. You, well, you wouldn't be able to reach it, but I can just reach up and grab that and turn it and steer the boat. Man, this is such a cool design. It's, it's, such, a, it's such a good boat for like working stuff and, and cargo. You can put a lot of cargo on the front there, you know, when the floorboards are in obviously and, and back here too. A few times I've had like this full of stuff and up in the front full, full. And yeah, I can take some pretty big stuff up in that front and area. And where were we in here? Uh, one time we went somewhere, all of us, not you, you weren't born yet. But you and your sister and your mom were all inside here. Was it raining? And we were on our way home. You guys were all huddled up in there. I was driving and the rain was coming in sideways and it was, it was so wavy. But you guys were in there. You said you were fine. I actually have a video of that. It's like five years ago or something I now. See the video. I I I'll see if I can dig it out. I don't know. I oh, you know what? It's a video of when I was doing building the fiberglass domes. So I, I could find it pretty easily. Actually. Man, this boat is awesome. Maybe I should make a couple more pedal wheels or, well, even one more pedal wheel with the pedals and everything. I could put one right here. And then I could have a, pa a paddle wheel going here, and then one going back there, and then I could have you know a whole bunch of people pedaling at once. I can make a kid size one. <gasps> For me? Well, you you could do this one, I think. I Actually, can. Bellatrix, go sit on this one. I think both sides, the pedals are the same size. So yeah, pick whichever one you want. <laughs> yeah, you can totally sit backwards. I get a little wet now, honey. No, you shouldn't get wet actually. This. Oh, that got splashed earlier. Yeah, yeah don't worry about it. Just, uh... Yeah, so you can just sit right on this thing. I need a chair that's a little further back. 
Okay, pedal forward. This one? Yeah, that way. That's actually backwards, but it's forward for you. Yeah, pedal pedal hard. Like try to like you're like you're trying to go somewhere. You gotta move a little bit more forward so you can actually reach the end. Keep going, keep going, keep going, don't stop, don't stop. Keep going. <laughs> I guess it'll be it'll be a little smoother when the boat's actually when the boat starts moving. Because right now every time that the paddles are in the water, they're in stationary water. I want to get you and your sister on this thing. Okay, I want to see if how convenient it is for two people to pedal. I wish I had something to sit on that. No, no, I want two people to pedal on the same one. Like, can we both get our feet on this one reasonably? Now, uh, to do that, I need uh, I need to make make actual pedals. Alright, you pedal there and I'll pedal over here. On the uh, on that boat over there, oh you wanna go forward or backwards? The pedals are actually wide enough that you can get two feet on for one person to sit forward and one person to sit backwards. Oh you wanna go forward? Oh, we're getting sun. We should be getting a little bit on the solar panels. Let's just mm, I see a bit of sparks. Oh it does work! That probably needs oil in it. Yeah, it sounds... I haven't driven it in years. It's, maybe the oil slowly dripped out or something. I don't know, maybe it's just got some... I don't know, I'll have to check it out. Yeah, there's my super cool oversized fiberglass but filled with concrete anchor. <laughs> it works really well. Alright, there's my little windows for when you go inside that zone. I just have to figure out, do I want to... Do I want to lower it, make it more aerodynamic? Or do I want to keep it like this? Which is better for, you know, just, just being a work boat. Keep it like it is. It's definitely a consideration. I could just keep using this as the transport boat. Yep. The problem is that boat can hold like four times what this boat can hold. I could put you know, 1,500 pounds on this boat before I start getting, well, like over, I can put 1,000 pounds of cargo plus myself on this boat without getting nervous. And kids? I could put a couple tons on that boat, no problem. Yeah, I could put the kids on, you guys don't weigh anything. <laughs>